might be asking yourself how the heck do I mount my case to the roof of my car or on a roof rack well I'm about to show you um, here I'm just showing you I got some rubber washers and metal washers this is the anchor that came uh, from up top overland to mount stuff to the rack system they come in different sizes and they look the same so be careful what sizes you get customer service is very helpful at up top overland and uh, just getting all the parts ready this is what it looks like so here we just picked a spot that looked really reinforced and strong, uh, which is this part right here. So we go ahead and drill. Uh, we're going to do both of them. We, did, we picked these reinforced spots for the back, no reason in particular. Um, you could have picked the front just the same, uh, but we picked the back and we are going to drill both of these holes out, give it plenty of space. Um, kind of on a side note, these quarter inch bolts worked very well. Um, I'm a bigger fan of bigger bolts and uh, bigger tracks before the bolts, but um, so far these have been working well. I have been a little using them lightly um, because they are smaller. Um, so here you can see the anchors just slip right into the track here. We got both of them ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead and get this into position. Um, and I, I haven't been putting too much weight, like I said, on these cases, um, just because I'm a little skeptical about these small bolts. But uh, what about 6,000 miles later, they're still holding up. They haven't backed out at all. So, so far, so good. So at this point, we're just spacing the case away from the side of the roof rack. And we don't want the roof rack touching the side or being able to vibrate and touch the, the rail of the roof rack. And then we're also getting the anchors in place. We're visualizing through this hole here, uh, making sure. And once we see it, we go ahead and put it in. And here I'm just trying to show you that the um, rubber washer goes uh, against the, um, the case itself. And I've had no issues with uh, moisture, water getting in. I drove through a lot of rain. Here you can see we're lining up. There it is, lined up the anchor. Ready? and making sure the threads line up and we got the rear done right there all just hand tight didn't try to over tighten it but i made sure it was pretty snug and here you can see there is a little gap under the washer but it doesn't matter uh, so here we're just eyeballing it uh, the front part is a little bit of a guessing game we did our best guess and we went ahead and started drilling here and uh, we got pretty lucky here uh, because we landed it right into the track. Uh, it's a little bit easier than it looks. It was very scary to drill because we didn't want to drill multiple holes. Uh, but uh, it looks like the rear bolts were pretty square or at a 90 with the um, side rail of the roof rack. So it worked out good. And here I just noticed my little Allen wrench measured where the hole was perfectly. So I went ahead and just did the same thing to the other side here and hoping that uh, I'd get the same result and so far using zero Loctite has worked just fine and I'm still on top of the, the truck at this point and so here I go start drilling and I got really lucky here because right under here was the anchor. In fact, the hole to the anchor, so I didn't have to do anything. I just started putting the bolt in right away. Yeah. No, no, don't put yet because I'm gonna and anchor. I need you yeah. right so that was it. nice right and it. easy. Oh, by the way, if you're interested like, in any of the there. reasons, of many reasons why I picked this case here, this is the Pelican Vault 720. Uh, check out my previous video. I'll put in a link below. Um, it is pretty thorough and it comparing uh, the no, features of this mm -hmm. to other cases. Right, how about this side? How are we looking? Uh, here, BL is lining up the anchor for me here. 
Uh, this guy's got a lot of experience with everything, and he's been walking me with you know he's been walking me through a lot of this stuff. Yeah, uh, I so it. I really appreciate him and his time. All right, so he is just trying to make sure that anchor is there, moving easily, and then he's lining it up. And we go ahead and <laughs> apparently I wasn't ready here, but uh, okay, you want to do this part? Oh, okay. Get this last bolt on here. And again, careful here. You don't want to force any. Uh, you don't want to force anything. Uh, you don't want to strip the the bolt here or the anchor. Mm -hmm. Make sure it stops. Uh, for this part here, the box is a little close to the edge. If there's any flex with high winds or something, we don't want there to be a vibration or noise. So we're gonna back it up just like a half inch. So what we're gonna do is just loosen up just barely uh, each each uh, uh, bolt. And then we're gonna put a little bit of pressure on it until we get the alignment we want. Tighten it back down. Then time to go hit the trails. All right, so now you guys see, this is what the Pelican cases look like when they're mounted. With the Baja lights. With the, we did the Baja lights. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a video on that for you guys later um, on a different setup when we put on the LP4s here. But uh, for now, uh, if you want a bigger case than this, they make a couple larger sizes. If you have a forerunner, you could definitely run a bigger box. Um, I like this because it, it leaves some room in the front for my LP4s and then a little room in the back in case I want to run a tent. Um, so this, this worked pretty well. I should be able to use it for whatever I need. Um, I don't recommend taking them off. Uh, the front runner rack definitely is easier to mount uh, one of the issues we had mounting this was finding anchors because the carriage bolts don't work on this rack unless you file the hell out of them uh, to get them to fit um, which would probably take about 10 to 15 minutes uh, but uh, yeah we're gonna head out to another state here in the morning and now we got these for some extra cargo we like to mount the front screws as close to the front as possible um, this will uh, limit the amount of uh, it's taking the most uh, wind uh, damage in the front so we want to make sure it doesn't vibrate so uh, the lower you mount the bolts the more chances of the um, of the box bouncing up and down just slightly making a vibration so if you want it to be quieter that's a good tip here and then for the back, uh, it was close enough to the rear. So what we did was we just mounted it, as you guys saw, in the, in the, in the hole that's reinforced. That's um, uh, the strongest point for this, uh, for this to go. So this is the top view. Um, this gives us a lot more storage because we are going out actually camping this weekend. I didn't want it too high. So again, I didn't get the Rome cases. Uh, but I really like the struts because managing the lid with one hand um, means you only have one hand to grab something and try to dismount the vehicle. It looks really good and I'm really happy with that install.